This is a pickle. This is also a pickle. This guy, well, he's just pickled. Any questions? I thought so. Cello. Achar, or Indian pickles, have been a part of the culture for over 4,000 years, and so in researching this, it was a little bit intimidating, and to be very honest, I think I'm pretty new at the whole Achar scene. So this took a bit, and I needed a little help, but we'll get to who that special person is in a minute. First of all, I want to give you guys a really great research. In doing this research for this video, I came across the New York Food Museum's Pickle History Timeline, and I put a link below in the description, so go check it out. It was really cool, and one of the things that first popped up was understanding that cucumbers are actually native to India, and they were first picked around 2030 BCE in the Tigris Valley. That's incredible. From 4,000 years, Achars have been kind of around the culture to 2030 BCE and the cucumber. That's a little mind-blowing. So the first thing we need to do is understand what the West views as a pickle and what the East views as a pickle. We're in a pickle, aren't we? So the word pickle kind of comes from the Dutch word pekel, meaning brine, meaning in brine. And the West views a pickle as this cucumber or typically acidic and sour kind of thing. Well, the East, well, let's just say you guys nail it with achars. And it wasn't until recently that I kind of understood that. You know, although the origin of the word achar is a bit ambiguous, a lot of people will agree that it comes from kind of a Persian-defined word, meaning powdered or salted, preserved fruits uh, in vinegar, honey, or syrup. The act of preservation is a really important thing, and we talk about it a lot in the Idli video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Fermentation and preservation makes a lot of sense. When you think about these long trips, well, food had to be preserved, and there wasn't electricity and refrigeration, so how are you going to keep food preserved? Well, enter Katie Achaya, who is really the encyclopedia of all things, and he notes that pickles fall into the category of cooking without fire. Well, we understand that many pickles do require heating or fire to extend the preparation, so I don't know if I fully agree with that one. See, pickles in India, or achars, are kind of defined into three different, you know, basic types. The first is preserved in vinegar, the second would be preserved in salt, and the third would be preserved in oil. You see a lot of different styles of achars from meat to fish to fruits, to really great vegetables. The process of pickling is one of the best ways to extend the life of food. You know, once preserved, the pickle will not need refrigeration. It travels incredibly well over long distances, and it adds an incredible amount of flavor. When I first started learning about pickles, there was one book that stood out above all of them. This is what I refer to as the Bible of Pickles, and it comes from an incredible Chennai lawyer who, is a, who basically took over a thousand pickle recipes in her masterpiece of a book, Usha's Pickle Digest. Check out the link below to that book, and thank you, Usha Prabhakaran, for making that book because it is really amazing. It taught me so much, and I continue to reference that book all the time. Now, like I said in the beginning of this video, I need to be transparent here. Achars are pretty new to me, and it wasn't until recently that I discovered how amazing they are, and I needed some help with this one. So I have a really good friend who we have this incredible community on Instagram. Her name is Pankori, and Pankori is this amazing person who loves her food deeply. She's passionate, and she does incredible research. So make sure you check her out in the link below as well. That is her Instagram. You guys are going to learn so much. So when I knew I was making this video... I wanted to contact her and say, hey, I need a little help. I want you to put together a clip talking about the achars that you love. And that's the cool thing. Something amazing happened. She created this great clip that I'm going to show for you guys right now. So without further ado, let's turn it over to Pankori.
this opportunity and do follow me on yayawar.india on Instagram. It's pretty amazing, right? So my story with Achar, well, it kind of has a neat little turn here. Recently, I was at my friend Tarun's house, and if you don't know Tarun, he's awesome. We do Atma together, and we do a lot of food kind of research and uh, and kind of research development at his place a lot of time, and there was this beautiful vase on the counter, and over it was a cloth, and I looked at it, and I said, oh, Achar, huh? He's like, yeah, come smell it. So we removed the cloth, and I closed my eyes and took this amazing deep inhale, and what I got was this sour and spicy but not overbearing flavor that just hit my nostrils. I knew I had to have some, so we cooked up some rice, and into it was just this simple mango achar. It's mango pickle with rice. Not a lot of seasoning on the rice. Simple. The flavor that came through was mind-blowing. I kind of felt like this moment where I was like, what's even happening here, right? That's what achars do. Achars from talking to you guys, there's so many incredible memories and, and wonderful stories that you told me. And that's the thing that's amazing about this community. I put a poll out there and a simple question saying, I'm making a video on pickles. I want to hear your stories. And so, boom, we got stories like this. We got stories like this. And hundreds of comments later, I've been reading through all of them and I cannot thank you enough. I'm going to keep some of these comments and stories going here, and I'm also going to link some in the comments below. You guys are incredible. We're creating a community here that's awesome. So learning about Bengali pickles, learning about pickles from the north, from the south, from the west, the diversity is incredible, and the thing that keeps coming up is how passionate everyone is about their cuisine and their food. To me, that's what this is about. Now, we're going to make a lot of pickle videos. This first one that's coming out there isn't going to be the be-all to end-all, so don't kill me here. But I wanted to get this out here for two reasons. Number one, as a Westerner, I got to admit, it was a little intimidating trying achars for the first time. You see this jar full of oily, strange things that I didn't know. And to be honest, it was a lot of fear. I didn't really know what I was getting into. They looked intimidating. But a lot of times, when we overcome our fear, we're met with this incredible beauty. And isn't that really what achars are about? If you're watching this and you're from the subcontinent, I bet you have a million stories of people you know. Maybe it's your family making achars and sending them to you if you don't go on trips. That's beautiful. And you sharing those stories inspires me, just like hopefully these vid videos inspire you. Achars are more than just flavor. They're about tradition. They're about passing on something that has this incredible amount of flavor. It's about passing on traditions. It's about passing on flavor profiles. And at its core, aren't achars just passing on love? I think in the comments for that poll, one of you said achar should mean mother's love. And I got to admit, I think you're right. Maybe we change the word and we mean it like that. But today is more than just achars. Today is about learning that even this Westerner who knew nothing about achars and still feels a little intimidated making them, it's about overcoming that fear. Just because you weren't, you weren't born with something, just because something looks different, doesn't mean you need to be afraid of it. You may like it, you may not. Listen, there's probably a lot of achars that I haven't tried that I might not like. It doesn't mean somebody else doesn't like them. Just because I have a flavor profile and preference doesn't mean that the next person is going to have the same. That's the beauty of diversity. And that's really, to the core, what achars are about. It's about diversity. It's about sharing. It's about love. If this, visit, if this video resonated with you and you like it, just give me a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. This is what we do every Monday. I release these cool little videos talking about food from the subcontinent. Thank you for being here, really. Like, I know I'm just talking to a camera right now, but I hope to be talking to you. And if you watched it this long, thanks. This is incredible, and we're doing something amazing together. So consider sharing this with your friends, too. I want to know more about Achars, and maybe you can help me learn, too. 
I'm going to come back with part two, part three of this video over the course of the next several months. And we're going to bring on some special guests as well. Until then, stay safe and thank you guys for being here.